Hi and welcome to another Lightworks tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the audio mixer panel in Lightworks. You can open the audio mixer panel by pressing insert on your keyboard or by right clicking on the edit and choosing audio mixer panel. Today I'm only going to go over the basics of the audio mixer panel and that's because I'm not an expert myself. So to begin with, here we have different mixes that we can send and uh, that we can send an audio track to. Here's the audio tracks rep that represents the audio tracks on the timeline. And even if you group two audio tracks, they will show up as two different audio tracks. It's like on a um, regular audio mixer. So basically this means that you can send the, this channel or track if you want to call it that. You can send it to a group uh, so and that makes uh, that it doesn't go directly to the master output that's LR here this is the master output it um, what it does is that it sends it to one of these mixes that you later can send into the master output and under the mix buttons you have a small slider this controls the pan of the sound so you can pan it to the right or to the left and when you have stereo sound from your camera or any other stereo sound it could be a soundtrack or voiceover or, or whatever you need to to get a full stereo image you need to pan the first audio track to the left and the second audio track to the right and that's why these sliders is put to the right and to the left. So here we have A1 and A2 and this is A1 and A2 and this one is left channel and this is right channel. So pan to the left, pan to the right. And here we have a, a meter that shows how loud they are on the and that's useful for uh, monitoring how loud the audio really is. And here on the side you have a slider that you can use to adjust the audio volume of the whole track. Not independent clips but the whole track. And when you have a stereo sound you need to adjust both tracks. Like on a real audio mixer. And under that you have a solo button. That means that when you play the video and audio, only that track is going to be heard. So now when I play this at solo, only the left channel of the water sound should be heard. And if I solo both tracks, both channels should be heard. You can solo how many tracks you want, but uh, what's the point of soloing all tracks? Just solo none tracks if you want to hear all tracks. Under that you have the audio track number. And this also functions as a mute button. So if I press this button, you will not hear the water anymore. Because this is the water sound. Now I activate those again and we hear the water. So now if I play the video I can adjust the sliders in real time and by that I can adjust the mix of everything. Before I do that I'm going to group the different kinds of sound because here on the timeline I have uh, background sounds and that is water sound bird sound thunder sound and then I have background music 
and a voiceover. And the voiceover is mono, that's why the ninth audio track is in the center on the pan slider. So the, what I want to do is to group all ambient sound. I call it ambient, even if it's not ambient. It's recorded at many different times and the water sound have has nothing to do with this water. So what I want to do is to group the different kinds of sounds in one group, one mix as uh, the mixer calls it. I want to have the sound from the nature and in another group I want to have the background music and then the voiceover. By doing this I can first mix the ambient sound together if I decide to add all tracks before mixing like I have done here. This is just an example project to explain the basics and I hope you understand because it's nearly that I don't understand what I'm talking about but I'm trying my best so be patient please. And we unmark LR on those channels. Let's see, it's until channel 6 there. And instead, we are sending them to mix 1. And this leads them into this mixer here. And then we can set L and R. And that makes the, the sound go out to the master channel and uh, and then we're going to put the background music in mix 2 and deselect the LR on that and select L and R here and uh, the audio the voiceover I am gonna leave uh, as how it is because that's just one track. And now when I play this it sounds seven like and it more. Before. It sounds like it did before. Nothing in the audio has changed but it's going in a whole other way through the audio mixer. So now if now is now if I click on mix one here I can deactivate that mix or group and you will no longer hear the ambient sound. The only sound that you hear is the voiceover and the background music. And that's because the mix with the background music is enabled and the voiceover is not going through another mix and that's not muted or anything. So now if I deactivate mix 2 which is the background music and uh, mutes A9 we should only hear the background, no, the um, ambient sounds, the birds and the thunder and the water, there's the thunder. So now if we want to mix this together, we can, if we want to mix this we can adjust the sliders here to get a more realistic feel to the sound. I feel that the um, birds is way too loud. Let's replay it. And there's the birds, I think. The thunderstorm is too high. I would like if I could drag both sliders at once, but that's not possible as far as I know. So, so now we have a rough mix of the nature sounds. And then I'm going to only activate mix 2, that is the background music. So I can adjust that. But I only have one soundtrack, so I don't need to mix anything there. I am going to show you how to mix everything together later. And same is with a voiceover, that's only one track, so I don't have to mix any multiple sounds there. So if we play it now, we can, we can clearly hear that the music is way too loud. 
so here we have the music on mix 2 and all we need to do is to drag down mix 2 and the audio should be much Sävon är ett vattenbolag i Västra Götaland längden cirka 130 km inklusive källflöden avrinningsområde är cirka 1475 km That sounds much better in my opinion Not perfect but it's better than when we started That's all for today, I hope you learned something Like I said in the beginning of the tutorial I'm far away from an expert myself so bear with me I'm just a beginner as you but um, because of a request on the forum I made this tutorial to clear things up a bit I hope. Goodbye, thanks for watching.